I'll just, it'll be ready for next. I'll, everything will be up there. I'll just have to bring new. All right, here we are, getting ready. Kick off for Panamint. We're weighing in anywhere from uh, 19 to 50 plus pounds on these packs. <laughs> <laughs> Just FYI. Yeah. We're going to be hurting in a couple Just hours. Wire. <laughs> That's a wee. 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 That's in the distance, probably doesn't come through on the camera very well. And uh, yeah, look at this awesome little creek we slept by last night. I slept in the car tonight, be sleeping in a tent unless we get some, uh, unless we get one of the buildings up there. But you can see there's several cars, several cars here, so we probably won't get one of the one of the buildings we'll see either way we're we're ready i got extra clothes it's gonna be chilly up there oh, in the right. 20s all right we are. beginning of the hike yeah what are we needing Okay, we're crossing the creek again. Here's a little detrit detritus on the trail. An old truck. Had to change up my shoes here. For all these water crossings. How wet are your shoes? Perfect. I don't have to jump. Speak for yourself. That a boy. Nice. Good job. Hua! <laughs> That's so cool. Beautiful. <laughs> no problem at all. Just some cold, wet feet. Woo! All right. <coughs> You might be able to come down. Oh, you can stay up there. Well, the problem is, yeah, you're gonna have to come down here. 
that's what I'm, that's what I'm planning to do. So, plan. you can, it looks like you can kind of skirt that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure, for. Yeah. You can see the holes in this gigantic drill. Oh, for the Jeeps, huh? Jeep yeah. Yep. I think this is a, you can cross right here. This is a good spot. Yeah. Well, you can cross right there, right where he's crossing. That's pretty solid right there. Step on that. Good job. Well done, Jake. Well done. Well done, Jake. You can't see it from there. It's a beautiful waterfall. Wow! This is the first one. First waterfall. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, I prepared for it. Nobody listened to me. <laughs> All right, David, how do you feel? Feel good? Good. Good. Is this the last, so this is the last waterfall we have to get through, and then there's one more. Oh, cool. All right. Yep. Okay. I'll make sure you tap through that. Isn't that nice? Like changes your life to put on the water shoes. Don't worry about your pants. What? Yeah, you can go. It's okay, just go. You don't have to worry about any of that. Not anymore. Nope. How good does that feel, Jake? <laughs> Unique. There we go. Human stupidity has no limit. Hey, we just went through the waterfall, the first one. No, that's all right. We got a, another water fay apparently coming. So, here we go. You obviously know this, but these rocks are super slick. There's these holes in the rock. 
where I used to winch up the Jeeps. Yeah. That's my wake-up call in the morning. I need you to get up half an hour before everybody else. With this cool Practice. color, probably it's some uh, iron oxide along with some other chemicals, minerals. Take this pot. Have a pot of coffee on if you want me to not drink. Oh, that's deep. Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> A river runs through it? I was like, wait, why am I Okay, so we've gone about uh, three miles up the Surprise Canyon Trail, the Panamint, and we're about to go into the Tunnel of Love. So uh, let's go. Gotta get in the right spot. All right now, look up. This is a, this is a the money shot. <laughs> I've been recording this one, Dad. Yeah. And low power mode on your battery. Looking oh. good, big man. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't know if you can see the smokestack in the distance. We saw it quite a ways down the trail. At least it felt like a long ways, but uh, that's the uh, famous smokestack of Panamint City, and we are, uh, I don't know, half a mile away, 30 minutes maybe. Wall, well, I don't know when it was built, but pretty impressive. Pretty well built. Somebody spent a lot of time working on it. Not quite Stonehenge, but you know. Nice, here we are, Panamint City. There's a smokestack. Here's a Hilton we're gonna go check out, see if anybody's there, if anybody's checked in or if we can check in. We'll go by the castle later. There's another cabin up there. A few more. Yeah. I'm tired. All right, here we are at the Hilton. Here we are at the Hilton. You can see junk around.
Inside the castle. Look at this place. Wow. There's a whole group that's here ahead of us, so they scored it. And they aren't messing around. They got they got good grub out there. Yeah, there's a like a dead animal smell or there's an animal living in here. 6470, the castle. Stove. Panamint City. Sourdough Canyon. Thompson Camp. That's our toolbox. Troops toolbox. Oh, okay. That's the troops toolbox? We left it up here, yeah. I took a picture of the drill so I can look up the number for next time. I need a battery for it. And this is the other room that you were working on, huh? Slowly, yeah, it looks like it's gotten a little Yeah, it's a little rough. There. It's a little rough. Well, it was cleaner last year. They've got it all duct taped so the critters can't come through. Uh-huh. Penny's still there. I'll bet you that doesn't really keep the critters out. Look at this. They're using using uh, books to uh, <laughs> plug up some holes. <laughs> wow. This is a uh, ghost town that people like to live in. Yeah, I know. This is the spot. No kidding. Look at these. Oop. Look at these bricks. Mm -hmm. A lot of them came from the second smokestack. Is this still working, guys? Please only burn the paper. Huh? Yeah. It works. Oh, it works. It gets warm in here. You watch your head. It's cool. <laughs> Look, Mother Nature brought you an ice chest over there, too. <laughs> hey there. Hey, throw some part Here's the fridges. I think we got to score one of these. <laughs> Look at all these tents. These guys are these guys are big time. Yeah, I saw that. There's a basically tools stored in here. Okay, here's the uh, smokestack. Pretty cool. First thing you see when you come up. Definitely. Coolest thing in town. Well, not the coolest thing, but one of the coolest things. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> nope. This is the Hilton. All right, there's this really cool stone structure. I think might have been the shops right behind the Hilton. Kind of a interesting little spot. Looks like 
might have turned it into some apartments because there's all kinds of beds and other uh, appliances and stuff in here. All kinds of stuff going on in this place. Probably not the worst place to uh, camp at some point, but not so much at the moment. But it was uh, well built, concrete, insulation. Of course, it leaks now. The rats are pretty much, uh, you know, had their way with it. All these things were wired electrical there's a big generator diesel generator probably supplied electricity to all of the buildings all the structures and the mining equipment yeah crazy That'd be ice I just slipped on, but hey. There's a little wheelbarrow without the wheel. I'll try to traverse this ice again a little more gently, I think. And there you go. We're trying to uh, figure out a way to walk up this road to the Wyoming mine, but as you can see, it's uh, snowy, deepish in spots. That's what we just walked up. So, yeah, I'm not sure how far we're gonna get. So, here we are at the other side of the smokestack, and you can see down into the Panamint City, there's the Hilton that we stayed in last night aka Hilton and uh, there's a better look at the smokestack 1870 that thing was built how cool is that I can't remember how many bricks I'll make sure to add that but it's got a lot of bricks you can see the craftsmanship right up at the top that's pretty cool we were kind of debating on uh, what sort of scaffolding they might have had to set that up but they did a really super Amazing job that that's still standing after 1870, after no maintenance. All right, you can see uh, the Inyo Mountains behind us, maybe. Argus. And uh, there's uh, another view of the smokestack. We're going to go down and check that out. Okay, you can see where they shoveled in the, the coal. You can see some of the masonry work here where the bricks have fallen out. Here's a nice shovel they made out of a piece of pipe. Nice long shovel so they can get in the coal deep in there. Nice stone work for the base. Let's see what the other side looks like. There's a big hole on the other side. Other than the uh, tear. You know how many uh, thicknesses there are? I think you can see on this side. I see two. I think, I think there's two layers. There's a tear here. You can see all of the layers. Oh yeah, that's cool. So it's 
it's two, but then there's another inside piece. Oh. Oh, nice. The wall also yeah, they needed to be. What they get. There's multiple layers happening here. There's two on the outside. There's a, a little and then there's an internal like flume that they built. Like so there's, I, there's, there's hundreds of thousands of bricks in this thing. That's crazy. Here's another little structure that's caved in. Was this part of the... This is all part of the original stuff. This right, but this is where they like brought the ore down, right? Yep. Well, you're standing in where a building was. Oh, there's a... There's one chimney here. You'll see a pile of bricks over there. Okay. Is this the other chimney? Yeah. Right, so this is where they would have fed in the coal, right? Uh, Maybe. And over there, you can see across the other side of the valley, there's an overhang rock. We're going to check that out, but there's uh, some petroglyphs in there. So excited to see that. And we're going to go check out the rock crusher equipment up there. I know. Uh, part of the bringing the ore down. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, I'm gonna cruise down here into this archway that they built. Mr. Owens kind of pointed out that these bricks are full size versus the bricks you get today, which are, you know, they say they're the same size, but the nominal actual size is much smaller. And on the way up, we can see pieces of these bricks have been washed down the creek. Did you take one of the two down? No. This is a Tyler did once. He was able to find one with markings and he was able to find the dates and try and find out where it came from. It would... You can see the uh, electrical wa wires up there that were running it coming from the generator. Here's a diesel fuel tank that was, you can see the hoses down here. That was fueling lots of different contraptions and probably a fuel up station here somewhere. Definitely fueling the generator that was gravity fed maybe down to the uh, structure down there. Oh, this is a little roll-up door. Okay. All right. Oop, watch your head. Not too many at once. 
Yeah, just let them come back down, Jake. There's all the panels. Oh, here's all the switches. Somebody's long taking those breakers out. Just imagine how loud and crazy all this stuff was. There's a roller there, a barrel that would roll. Yeah. Yep. Oh, thank you. You can just imagine how loud this rock tumbler was, huh? Cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, Probably some ore. Oh, there's two rock tumblers. There's this red one and this green one right there. You can still smell the oil, the lubed everything. I guess the grease. Must have been quite the operation. Here's a little door leading up to the next level. Out to the back. Don't much need the door anymore since the paneling's off. All right, let's go check out these stairs up to see above the rock crushers. Watch your head right here. Little ladder, little ladder. That is pretty cool. Closer view of this machinery. A little hopper box there, I guess. All the ore went into that and got moved down that conveyor belt into that and then down into those rock rollers. see some kind of machinery up above there because that's where the power line goes careful that was 
Yeah. That looks a little sketchy in there. Yeah, look at these big grizzlies, right? Grizzly bars, this is where all the big stuff would get stuck. We're gonna go across, if you can see that yellow contraption over there and truck. We can go over there, there's supposed to be some better ore left over. Like we're gonna hike all the way over there. <laughs> Scary in there. The flashlight isn't working. <laughs> we'll go in there. You can't see it from outside, you gotta see it from inside. The darker it gets, the uh, better your flashlight works. I guess you could stay in there. Oh, I can see. Get your eyes to adjust. Watch out, Jake. Hey, hey, pay attention to each foot. You need to make sure you're watching. Those boards absolutely just drop. Jake, honestly, be super careful. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm just telling you to test it before you walk out there. Okay, you, there's nothing farther, so you don't really need to go back any farther. What was this for then? Just Let me see your light a second, please. They couldn't have just dug this much out. Well, what do they, what do they use rooms like this for? Sleeping? Huh? Sleeping? <laughs> no. With that iron door on it, what do you think? Storage? Yeah, they stored something in here. Oh, I saw on the door. They stored explosives for money. Oh, explosives. So it's not a good thing to be in here. <laughs> Mom's selling some explosives. It's a, guys, it's, it's token number two. Yep. Oh, someone said Hilton some people would stay in the explosive thing. No. Well, they also said explosive. Okay, so here's the front of this mine. This is where they were getting the ore out. Thank you. I don't have a light, remember? That's a bright light. Yeah, it is. It's cool in here. Looking for silver on the ground. <laughs> Not gonna find it. You know, I think if we, if they dug more into this, this green stuff, they said oxidized silver. How far back have you uh, been back? Huh? How far back have you gone? Oh, yeah. oh, how far back? It seems like it's going to fall. That's <laughs> well, let's hope not. There's always a chance that it will. Earthquake potentially, but you know, there's, this has uh, survived lots of earthquakes and it hasn't yet. Doesn't mean it won't. But this is like pretty hard rock. It's getting anxiety in this nonetheless. Yeah. There's some burrow poop or something. What's that? Oh, it's just wet dirt. If there's a burrow in there, they'd be dead. <laughs> no. I guess there's no reason for them to come in here, though. 
Mountain lion could be hanging out in here. What for? Warmth, yeah. protection. It's not very warm yet. Warmer than it is outside when it's freezing. So we're gonna step out of the mountain? No. Sticks up in the wall. Well, I'm guessing those are some kind of a... Uh, or... Oh, no. Yeah, there's purposeful. Perhaps, like each se each section they went through, they as they were digging it. Why did they make it wider? Oh, look, you see the shining of the silver on the. I want to get a picture of that. Also, yeah, why did they make the cave wider? Yeah. Why did they make the cave wider? Lighten up. Well, there's water dripping in the field. Yeah. It's not silver. It's just water. Just crystals? No. Water I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering why they should expand sideways. They probably would have gone more there. Oh, there's something around that. It's a chain. Hmm. Back out of this mine shaft. Not sure how far back we went, but it was quite a ways back. Only saw one area where the rock had fallen off the side. Otherwise, seemed pretty stable back there. Lots of graffiti at the very, very end, so everybody left their mark. We did not. But uh, yeah, it was a cool little exploration. Even though we didn't make it up to the Wyoming mine, we did get to explore this mine, which was one that was used sort of towards the end in the 70s. We saw the dynamite holes at the end where kind of the last bit of this operation was. And that one was like 18 seconds. That one was like early, early on. Yeah, there was too much snow. We weren't prepared for that much snow, that deep of snow. So we weren't able to do that. We tried. Oh, this is another little area where some rock has fallen off the side of the wall. So I guess there's two, two major spots. This video probably is not showing up very well. I'm hoping that the light at the end of the tunnel will be a nice view as we come out. You can see the railroad ties where they were. There was rail in here and you can see the indentation. Show, show your light down, Jake, towards the ground. It's not so, not so evident here. This is more flat. And the ventilation. Yeah, oh yeah, the ventilation. Shine, hold on. Shine your, shine your light up there. So they would have put like a pipe or something in there so that they could get air all the way to the back. They're like hangers for the pipe. Yeah, most of them are missing the, the bottom now. Oh, here's another little cave in slight. Yeah, all that broken rock. And it's much wider right there. This wood is really wet though. Yeah, it is. Clearly there's moisture coming down through the the rock. That gives you an idea of how the water